Hi guys, this is Ben from Evolve Sport and Nutrition and this is our third video in the supplement series and we, today we are talking all about creatine. So strap yourselves in and let's get started. All right, first off, what is creatine? Creatine is a natural substance found in your food as well as your bodies and it's involved in energy metabolism, specifically short burst energy metabolism. So think of an Olympic sprinter or a power lifter, that one boost of shot or anything like that is all involving creatine because creatine is one of the three energy pathways or involved in one of the three energy pathways. There's the anaerobic, the aerobic, and the creatine kinase pathway. So the creatine kinase pathway feels physical activity under 10 seconds so those really really sh big big bursts of energy that's creatine feeling it now like I said before creatine is typically found in foods and animal proteins is specifically where it's found in so vegetarians and vegans creatine supplementation may be very important for you especially if you've noticed yourself losing a little bit of strength lately ever since changing into the vegan or vegetarian diet the reason why is because animal proteins are the only things that carry creatine so how does creatine work? What creatine does with the supplementation is it starts to get accumulate within your muscles. So what it does is it's able to donate its phosphate group to the chemical process going on at your muscles uh, to create from ADP, which is adenosine diphosphate, to uh, uh, ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is the uh, energy currency in your body. What your muscle does is when it makes a muscle contraction, it takes ATP, it takes away one phosphate group and then it turns into ADP and then the ADP needs to find another phosphate group in order to turn back into ATP to be used. Creatine does that. It donates its phosphate group back to ADP so that ADP can regenerate into ATP much, much faster, allowing you to re uh, recuperate from those burst movements much faster and giving you a lot more strength during those burst, uh, burst movements. Now, there are some side effects associated with creatine. Uh, because it accumulates in the muscle, uh, weight gain is one of the most common uh, side effects uh, related to creatine. The other side effects are anxiety, difficulty breathing, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, fever, headaches, rashes, um, some uh, upset stomach issues to be a little bit friendlier to our audience here. Um, and there's a lot of interactions that come with creatine. However, it's generally well tolerated. Now, creatine is typically used when someone's trying to increase their lean muscle mass, increase strength, or any combination of the two. Um, the reason why is because creatine allows you to lift heavier weights, thereby giving your body a bigger stimulus for lean muscle mass production. So it indirectly stimulates lean muscle mass de uh, development by virtue of you lifting weights. All right, now when should you be using creatine? Creatine should be used strategically. A lot of people start taking creatine right away and this is not the best way to do this. The best way for me to explain this is that everyone's got some sort of weightlifting plateau. This is related to genetics or it's related to muscle size or training status or whatever, but everyone's got a weightlifting plateau. What creatine does is it helps you get to your plateau much, much faster faster. So you will get rapid acceleration, but once you reach your plateau, we will have no other strategies to employ. So typically when I work with my athletes and when we have a discussion about creatine, I'm typically looking at when the athlete needs to be using it, whether or not they're looking for more lean muscle mass to push into a heavier weight category or for uh, lean, uh, to increase their lean muscle mass to increase their strength for performance. This needs to be done when you are starting to plateau in order to get the maximum benefits out of it. Otherwise, we just get you to your potential much, much faster, which is, in my opinion, not the most effective way at using creatine. Now, typically creatine is not taken properly either because creatine is a very, very special supplement, in which case we need a loading phase and a maintenance phase. The loading phase is typically two to three weeks long and it involves usually four doses of creatine per day to fully saturate your muscles in order to fully have all the creatine there. Then we reduce down to the maintenance phase after that point in time, in which case we only use about three to five grams of creatine per day as a part of the maintenance of the creatine supplementation. So it's a very different supplement than other supplements in the sense where there's a loading phase and then a uh, maintenance phase. Most people don't know about the loading phase and just go right into the maintenance phase. Um, don't do that. 
definitely load up beforehand. So that in a nutshell is essentially creatine. It's a natural part of food as well as your, uh, your energy metabolism. And it's very, very effective at increasing lean muscle mass and burst speeds um, and your muscular strength. So definitely consider using this, but only when you've hit a weightlifting plateau or your, pl your training has started to plateau and you need something extra to get you above and beyond. Now remember there's a loading phase and a maintenance phase. So be sure to do, uh, do this properly. And what the most important thing is whether or not you're ready for creatine or whether or not it's safe for you to use, it's the best idea to have a discussion with a sports dietitian to uh, know exactly if you're gonna, uh, if creatine's gonna help you out, uh, maximize your potential, or help you hit to your potential much, much faster. These are things that are very important to consider when looking at creatine. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching our video today on creatine. We hope you learned a lot. We hope you figured out when to use creatine um, into your diet. And again, always work with a sports dietitian in order to make the ma uh, most maximum use out of your supplements. Thanks again for watching. As always, like, comment, share below. Let us know what you like. Let us know what you want to hear from or see in the future, and we'll definitely get around to doing it. But for the time being, thanks again for watching, and we will see you very, very soon. Bye, guys.